that. So Baylor uh, started teasing this, I, I don't know how many days ago, uh, but let's say two or three days ago, about an announcement today at 10 o'clock this morning, and it eventually came out that it was a uniform reveal. They put out a graphic about a week ago teasing news and said, you know, mark your calendars for May 28th, and didn't really say much besides that, but you put two and two together, and it felt like it had to be a uniform because what happened was the NCAA video game trailer dropped and in the trailer, there is a clip of Baylor running out onto the McLean Stadium field. It's very clearly them, but the uniforms were different. The uniforms had, like, stripes on the shoulders. And, and somebody, I don't know who it was originally, but somebody caught wind of that and was like, wait a second, that's not the uniforms that they wear. And that's not uniforms, that's not like throwback uniforms. And so it was odd. And then it got, like, I uh, didn't like Baylor put something out or they deleted the trailer or something. A lot. So then it was like fishy. Then it was like, okay, what's going on here? And then they announced they're going to put out an announcement of something. And so you just put they all that together. They announced that they were going to have an announcement. And, yeah. And so and, you put all that together after the kind of coy, weird reaction to somebody spotting the, the trailer change. Man, that's a little bit almost overkill to me that you, but I guess if you just happen to glance and see that, you I would notice. I mean, if you, you know your notice. team and yeah. what they look like, and yeah. you see them running out on the field with well, different uniforms, that's notable, especially if you've, Wanting them, you, you want them to change uniforms. So that's how it started was seeing that EA clip. And then they tried to play coy. And then they just said, hey, there's an announcement coming on May 28th. And it was pretty clear that it was going to be something uniform related. They didn't say these are brand new. They didn't say these are starting from scratch. They didn't say they were even uniforms. They just said there was an announcement. But that led to a couple of days of people going like, they're going to announce something completely different because that's Baylor's way would be to hype up something and then have it be like the stadium lighting was the running joke or LED lights in the stadium, which would obviously not be a huge deal, really. Right. Um, and so today was the day to finally unveil it. And they were, in All fact, right. some uniform changes. Here, here are the here's a, the graphic. In fact, this comes from, I think, our own Twitter account. The three different uniforms that were unveiled, the left, the right, there's the stripes on the on the sleeves, as, as you mentioned, on the shoulders. Um, and, and then there was also one that was kind of teased off into a distance that was darkened up that looks like it could be maybe a blackout night, whatever. So let's discuss these. Uh, I, I, I like them. Uh, I think that, um, you know, I, I get a little Green Bay Packers vibes from the, from the, from the gold uniform. I, I, I think it makes the, the whites and the greens look a lot better. Um, the, gold, the gold ones always were, were kind of a tough sell for me because – Without the any of the accent pieces, it just looks like mustard, like egg yolk. Like, like it just yeah, it looks like all right. It it just didn't have any shape, you know. Like there was no depth or anything to it. It was very it was very bland. Which you know, all, there's only certain schools you can pull off like one aesthetic. Like Penn State looks fantastic. Alabama, Penn State, Texas. Yeah, like that. Like there's very few. No, yeah. like even Notre Dame has their yep. like they veer off the path, and so. It just because of the situation they were in, they got you know they they got in the subscription Nike level low. You know they had this is what they were available to. Now they've got some new things. They've got an alternate uniform, and it was it was really I agree with Craig wholeheartedly. They needed to do something because the the one thing I will say that the athletic department has kind of hit a wall on with football is the fans are like, well, we'd like tailgating to be better. And like, yeah, I can't do anything about that yet. Uh, we'd like this to be different in the stadium. No, you're wrong. Uh, how about an alternate uniform? Let's Stop asking alcohol. for that. No. Yeah. Uh, how about the, like yeah. everything they ask for, the they pre -game just get told. The pregame music, the yeah. atmosphere. They, they just get told, right. no, whether they're right or wrong. Well, I mean, the thing is the customer is always right, right? So, or at least you have to make them feel like they are being heard. And I don't think that the fans for a very long time – for the last three years or so, I've been heard on the game day atmosphere things. And the reason that gets louder is, like, when you're three and nine, everything is a complaint. Yeah, I don't give a damn what the color of the uniforms are. You're good. Because some of those same uniforms were used in 2021. But, but also, in 2021, they did have some of those complaints. It just... Yeah. It, it, when like, you're winning, it's a little bit different. put it away. Craig, yeah. I don't... I, honestly... I don't pay a lot of attention to uniform releases. There's some that are just cooler than others. I get it. A lot of times it could be the color schemes. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, you see the stripes there up close on that picture, those green and, and yellow stripes on the uh, pants, I guess that is. Or the, yeah, I guess that's the Well, the of course there. it is. Yeah, that's a, the, the thigh right there. Um, it's a big old thigh. <laughs> um, there's the, the stripes, and that's um, – 
yeah, some of the updates really is just the striping on the shoulders. And I think uh, in some places the collars uh, aren't like – they kind of have like a chunky collar. Like that still has the collar, but I think the green ones maybe don't have like the big yellow collar like they had. I might be wrong because I've only, you know, looked at these for maybe 10 minutes total all day. Um, but I liked them. Like I wasn't expecting rolling in to have like – a brand new set starting from scratch, like specifically designed. You see, like yeah, that the green like ones yellow, there. Yep. Did it not? Yep. Like a big yellow collar. And yep. I think I, I love think that. those look great. I, I love that rather with the collar, not yellow. Yeah, Gold, I think those whatever. look great. I think those look really sharp. I think the whites look really good. I think the yellows are definitely not everybody's favorite because some people think they're pea yellow or mustard yellow. And those are just, that's a color that not everybody's going to vibe with. But they look way better all yellow with the stripes then without the stripes. Without yeah. the stripes, you couldn't even hardly tell who it was. Were there stripes on the legs before in the pants? No. Okay. So with the stripes, that's what's really brand new here. And and I guess in some cases, maybe some other things, the lettering's been slightly modified, but that's basically what it is. It's it's this is not a new unveiling as much as I consider it to be a freshening up okay. of what they had before. Because the base is still there on all these. It's just the the stripes and maybe some other tweaks here and there. Uh, like a collar on one of them, for example. But um, I, I think they all look sharp. I think that you definitely don't need to go all solids all the time. I think there needs to be white, green, white, or okay. um, white, yellow, green. Or, you know, I think there's a lot of combinations. And they've, they've played around with combinations even with the ones they've been wearing. So I don't think that that changes much. Um, but I do like the stripes. I like a little bit more of the details. And uh, I think they look pretty clean and sharp. And I can understand if you were coming from a place where you saw something about new uniforms and you, you spent the last week getting your hopes up, uh, as I saw a lot of people do, I just knew that they were going to be disappointed because they were thinking it was going to be the Bryles uniforms coming back right. or it was going to be chrome gold. I saw somebody wants chrome green helmets, and chrome green is hideous in my opinion, but everybody's imagination was left to run wild, basically. So that's why I think you see... Um, some level of disappointment. There's also people who just don't like this color gold. They want the old gold that RG3 wore. And so, you know, there's there's all sorts of minor complaints or, I guess, uh, critiques that you could make. But in general, they're better than what they had. They're definitely better than what they had, even if they're not a lot different. I think the stripes make a world of difference, and, and I think they look sharp and clean, and, and I would – I my my biggest thing is if they had just unveiled these when they unveiled the last ones, I think that would have been more acceptable, way better yeah. at the time when they did uh, the whole flip to like everybody's one brand across the school. Everybody's got the same color green, the same color gold, rather than everybody had like different shades of everything. When they brought everybody under one umbrella, had these been the initial football uniforms. I think there still would have been people who didn't like them because they just prefer the old gold and all that, but they would have been better received. And then whatever we'd be getting now at this point, who knows? Yeah. But um, all right, we'll, we'll have to see in another five years. All right, we cover Baylor, but we cover all of college football. And there are some uniform releases that, like, catch my attention. So, I mean, we see the surface academies when they're about to play. Let me ask you, is it me? And, and this might upset some people, and quite frankly, that's fine. Is it me or is this fan base more sensitive to most anything uniform than anyone else? Or is it just because we're closer to the situation? I think, I think it's mostly because we're closer to the situation. Yes. But I also think that they have a that it's a very complicated and confusing history yep. for them specifically. Yeah, absolutely. Because forever, Baylor was one of the last all apparel one company schools. One of the last ones yep. to do that. And because of that, you had all these different colors of green and gold throughout the years. So if you're Smokey's age and you went to Baylor, you think that's the real green and gold. If you're my age and you went to Baylor, you think this different one's the real green and gold. Jack and Emery might think another one's a different green and gold. So you have an entire fan base that was never at one point told these are your real actual colors. Well, then you had basketball splitting in with the, yeah. the, the highlighter. So then you have all these other things that Bolts. were so different. So it's, yeah. Bolts. It's, yeah, Bolts. Bolts. Yes, yeah. There you go. So like you had all these things that intersected into what's the, what are the actual shades of the colors? Like what are those? And then when you get to the point of like, okay, well, 
all right, Nike, what do we do? And then Nike says, well, what we're going to do for you is we're going to give you an actual color palette that these are your colors. And you tell us what that is. And so then when Baylor picked that, you know, all these people are like, no, 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 no. I went to Baylor in 1971. That's not the gold that we had. No, no, I went to Baylor in 1991. We had a different gold than that guy. And so nobody, And then if you did the Browse years, you had the, the chrome you had all and those, the, like, all the other, So you all had black. all these different things. And part of it is also- Gun metal. But like also- in 1971, you wore bell bottoms. In 1991, everybody was wearing jams. I mean, like, fashion changes. Don't Things forget change. Zubas. I, I think yeah. um, I think the yellow definitely have some old school Oregon vibes. Mm -hmm. I think the green definitely have the Green Bay Packer vibes. And if you put the yellow helmet on the green jersey, then yeah, you definitely have some Packers vibes. But yeah, there's just a lot of different people with a lot of different tastes and a lot of different flavors they've been offered over the years. When I first got here, they had. Um, I don't know, let's say 12 sports that were covered by three different clothing companies mm -hmm. who had four different greens, five different yellows. Like, I mean, it was it was ridiculous. And so there's it's just amazing to me how many people don't like the actual school color, the yeah. yellow. They, they prefer the old gold. I do, too. I just think that looks better. But I also know it's not the school color. So um, I think the biggest disappointment for people, other than those who just got their hopes way too up thinking that this was going to be like 10 years ago, was... Um, just, I guess, part of the reason why they got their hopes up was because this was plugged to be a big announcement. And so that just made people feel like, oh, this is going to be a huge announcement. And then they got basically a refresh of things that maybe they didn't like to begin with. And so that's, like, immensely disappointing. You know what I mean? Because I think people were hoping for, like, a brand new set, brand new designs, brand new this, brand new that. And it's basically the old ones, but with a little bit of an update. Would it have been better just to release them without any kind of yes, anti anticipation? it would have been. All right, so there are I think, some. I think Baylor's had to learn that lesson a few times now. I think yeah. from now on, they just drop stuff and let yeah. the people react and, and don't try to even play with the, well, the getting your hopes up. I saw, and maybe I'm wrong, I saw someone react to what you mentioned. It's a uniform release, and the first thing the guy said was, I'm looking forward to being disappointed. Yeah. And, I, you know, it, it's it's okay. Well, because it's a couple not my times school. in the last it, I mean, to Paul's point about earlier about serving fans, like, they've listened. They changed the DJ, but it took how long? Like, it took, like, three years to change the music selection. And so I do think Baylor's got to throw a bone sometimes, and I think that they have. But I think that, yeah, you also have fans that get their hopes up. And so um, maybe next time, yeah, just drop it and don't even – Just don't move even, on. Yeah, don't even there bother are. with the reaction to it. I do think that the fourth one that they uh, did not fully show, I do think that that's – like you said, going to probably be like a dark gray or maybe even a black. My money's on a very dark gray, like an anthracite. I think you've alluded to that in the past, that yep. they had that yep. in the works. And so they'll probably drop those for whatever week they want to debut I think, them. I think a gray, kind of a gray tint would be pretty cool. Now, again, I don't know that. I, I, I'm not, And, again, I don't really care what the uniforms look like. I care about the product that, of the bodies that are in the uniforms, but I do know – that when you start losing, then everyone's mad at this. Right. And they're across the board. And there are some people in the athletic department, unfortunately, no matter what they do, they could walk on water, save a baby from falling out of a 10-story building, and people would still not like who that is one way or the other. And, and it's, it's just, it piles up. And, and it, it does seem to take away from just the fan base enjoying the moment, which they are, they're used to being in a, under a rock. Coming out for breath of fresh air and getting hit with a meteor. Yeah. I, I also think, like, also you got to compare, like, just go 90 miles in any direction to the, the rivals of most of the people as they grew up. So, like, TCU is the true rival. That's the big one. They've not changed. Like, they have. No, but, they've had but some. They've changed, but they've not. They've, they've, they've had some, but they're, like, old school TCU fans. They pretty much had the same colors forever. And then as the uniforms changed and TCU, TCU continued to do that. And then Baylor stopped doing it. So then your rival's doing it. And then if you're even older and you look at, okay, who else do I hate? Well, I really hate Texas. Well, Texas doesn't change ever. And they're the, the vision of classic, you know, you know, college football uniform. They're, if they ever did, the fan yeah, base would but lose they're, their they're mind. Just, well, they also got lucky enough to where they just kind of have the perfect now, way they, to do yeah. it. Like, they don't have to. Right. And then, then you go 90 miles in the other direction and you go to A&M. And they're maroon and white. They've always been maroon and white. They'll throw a black uniform out there. They'll throw an all-white uniform out there. But when you watch Texas A&M, whether it's in 1937, in 1957, in 1977, in 1997, or now, 
It's maroon and white. Yeah. It's never like yeah. I can go in my dad. I could. I remember just going through my dad's closet after he passed away and taking out what were three thousand Texas A and M pieces of clothing. There was never a difference in the shade. Yeah. Baylor had all that. Yeah, and, and so there we are with that, and everyone can have their opinion on that. I am not in the chat room yet. I'll try to set that up because I'm off to the side of the set, but I'll, I'll, I'm interested in seeing some of the the responses, and if you want to put that in there too, the chat room is there. The text line's available at 254-339-1122. I think my favorite thing was there was a brief glimpse in a video game that created all this to begin with, <laughs> of green uniforms with uh, slightly different stuff on the shoulders, and everybody went and said, chrome gold helmets and chrome green helmets and all black <laughs> uniforms, despite having a very clear picture of this slight change in the video game. And then they created this whole like list of things that had nothing to do with the picture which, that they saw. And then they're pissed off and disappointed which, about which, it. Here's the thing. Or, or they were going to be that way anyway. Right. Yeah. yeah. Some or, of them. The funny part about that is it's far less likely that there's chrome gold helmets coming or that there was like a full scale uniform change other than, EA Sports for the trailer got it wrong. Yeah. Like, they could have just thrown stripes on it, and then somebody goes to them like, hey, you know they don't have stripes. Right. And they're like, right. no. Okay, well, okay, nerd, go take the stripes out. And then he does. All right, uh, Jack, would you put the three up again? Just to, I'm, I'm curious about this, and we're, we're going to move on to, to the six teams in the, uh, the Big 12 that made the NCAA tournament, or at least the initial parts of it. The right side, you think that's – that? Does that have a little bit of West Virginia to it, or That's is that old have a, school Oregon right there? Or yeah. okay, on the left side, uh, Packers, Packers jersey wise for sure. All right. Packers, wise, yeah. the, the I like striping on the jerseys is just like the Packers. Yeah. Okay, it's just like the, any the of those look the like any of those look like North Dakota State. Sure. Uh, yeah, a little. Yeah. Yeah. There, and again, some teams that you know the, the colors are. To me, I like the. I've always loved just white. Because it's clear, you can't do that all the time. But it's, it's so much clean; it's a clean look. But I, it, they did it. You move on from it. You figure it out. You either like them or you don't. You maybe we're going to bitch about them, even if you liked it, just because it may be what you're used to doing. I don't know. Now, six teams. The 